welcome back to another episode of World 2 Hard Football Manager 2021. I hope you're well. We have played the one game that we had to play between the Sofia games and the Mlada Boleslav games in the Europa Conference League. It was a 2-0 defeat, unfortunately, to Dundalk in the league. Sort of expected they are top of the table, but it doesn't leave things looking too good for us. So we are still ninth in the league. There are 11 games left in the season. We're only three points behind Galway United in eight. I'm sure we probably have to play them again. So fingers crossed we can win when we do play them. But in today's episode, we are going to be playing both legs of the Europa Conference League third qualifying round against Mlada Boleslav and the EA Sports Cup semi-final against Shamrock Rovers. So this is the lineup that we've been sort of forced to to choose for the game, the, the first leg against Mlada Boleslav at home at the showgrounds. So we have Ryan Moore in goal, our, our usual starting goalkeeper, but at right back we have Ryan Walker today because Rigadanzo is lacking a bit in condition. And Hakob Manata Canyon comes into the side for Graham Gebby, who's also lacking in condition. Adam Wells is in at centre back for John Mann, who needs a rest. And then we have Daniel O'Reilly at left back. Federico Esposito is in at defensive midfield for Sigitas Alberkis, who also is in need of a rest. However, I think I am going to put him on the bench just in case we do need a bit more defensive cover in defensive midfield in the second half. Dara Fox is in as the advanced playmaker in place of Bertrand Congri, who's also lacking in condition. Dara Fox is, he should be okay. He's not at full fitness, but um, it, it doesn't say anything about giving him limited minutes or anything. Then we have Gary Buckley at Baldwin midfielder. Massimiliano Torremino, last game's hero. The hero of Sofia is playing at right wing today. And then Giorgio Kearney at left wing with Thomas Breen up front. And I'll just quickly change the, the role of Torremino to a winger on support. That must have been set previously for inverted winger. For, for Thomas Alua, I can only imagine. On the bench, we do have some of our new signings, or at least one of our new signings, Alessandro Moretti is on the bench alongside other players such as Gallagher and Milani and Alua. So if need be, we can use Comrie and Albertus, but they, they, they do need a, a bit of a rest. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have to, but we'll see how things go. So team talk time. Torremino's looking a bit nervous. Let's see if we can calm him down. We're going to pump our fist and say, get out there and show the world you've got what it takes. And I think we're going to have to do an individual team talk for Torremino and say, I have faith in you. Get out there and make the difference. It hasn't really helped uh, hopefully that doesn't affect his game too much with him being so nervous. So, goal kick, first highlight of the game. Ryan Moore is probably going to play this short, or, or he's going to surprise me and play, try and play it long to Breen and get the ball intercepted and give it away, pretty much. Petch is through on goal for Mladov Lolislav, and it's a great save from Ryan Moore after that terrible distribution from his goal kick. Another chance, though, from Mladov Lolislav. Pachagvka into the box, Petch with a header, and that's over the bar. Throw in for us on the left-hand side. O'Reilly takes it. Looking for Buckley. It's cleared by Vesely, but we've got it again with Wells. Ball forward. Headed away by Tatiev. And now Boleslav can come on the attack once more with Havorka. Now Lukavsky. Be great if we could win the ball back in their half. It's not looking likely, though, as the ball's played over the defence. Through to Klima. Klima's through on goal. It's Klima with the shot. And that goes right along the face of the goal. But fortunately, out for a goal kick. Corner. Prochaska takes it. Klima's there, and it is 1-0 to Mlada Boleslav. Completely deserved for them, to be honest with you. We've we've had one shot all game. They've had about eight now, I think, and a, a deserved one-goal lead. We, of course, are playing a, a weakened side, but we've got a corner here. Fox with the ball in, and that's collected easily by the Boleslav goalkeeper, and this is surely going to be another opportunity for them as he plays the ball long, looking for Petch, headed away by Esposito, but here they'll get it. Now it's Petch once more. The defenders trying to get back to get a tackle in, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Petch with a shot, and it's a good save from Ryan Moore in the Sligo goal. Prochaska with the corner again, headed away by O'Reilly this time. Back to Prochaska, and Krasny is in tons of space on the edge of the box. We need to get a challenge in, but he is forced to go back to the defender and the highlight just wanes out there. Almost half time. Can we hold on to just a, a one goal margin of defeat at the moment? As O'Reilly has the ball. Someone managed to keep it despite being challenged the entire time he was running along the byline. The ball's found its way out wide to right to Torremino. And he scored what a goal from Massimiliano Torremino. It's our first chance of the game. And he is becoming somewhat of a legend of Sligo Rovers in this European run that we're on at the moment. Fox with a pass to Torremino. I had no, I didn't think that had any possibility of going in, 
but he just smashes it from distance and finds the corner of the goal and we are level completely against the run of play. First half still continuing now. Mlada Boleslav with another chance possibly. It's Prochaska. He finds Vaseli. Vaseli shoots. It's a good save from Moore, but it comes to Klima. And Klima has scored. He's put Mlada Boleslav back into the lead. It's now 2-1. They've got the two away goals. I'm hoping that this isn't going to be the same as the Sofia game because I don't think we are going to be able to repeat the miracle of Sofia against Boleslav. But we do reach half time at 2-1. We're 2-1 down. We've played okay to be fair, for a, a com not a completely rotated side, but a very heavily rotated side, especially in defence. We're, we're going to pump our fists and say it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match. So let's go and do it. And we'll take a look at the tactics screen. So Walker and Esposito are, are struggling today. So we are going to we're going to take Walker off. We will bring on, did we bring on Moretti or Gallagher? We'll bring on Gallagher, who's more comfortable comfortable at right back. And then we're going to have to bring on Elberkus. Didn't really want to have to do it, but it's sort of been forced upon me as Esposito is not playing too great in defensive midfield. So Alberkus and Gallagher in for the start of the second half. Let's see if that makes any difference to our defensive solidity or lack thereof. So throw in just inside our half. Gallagher finds the goal scorer Torremino. He tries to go past his man, but plays it back to Gallagher. And now it's Fox. Looking for Torremino, but that's a terrible pass from him. And a good tackle from Alberkus, but it's fallen back to Boleslav and Klima with the ball once more. Now it's Petch on the left-hand side. It'd be good if we could get a challenge in because this looks dangerous. Klima looking to score again. It nearly deflects off Wells and goes into the back of the net, but fortunately he's aware of the situation and manages to clear it. O'Kearney with a throw-in on his left-hand side. Finds Buckley. Bad pass again from a centre midfielder there. Buckley just giving the ball away to Klima. And now Petch on the attack for Boleslav. Good tackle from Gallagher, but Pachaska is there to pick up the remains. And Petch has got it in the box. Plays it out wide left to Hriedel. Vesely's there. And Dennis Vesely has made it three goals to one to Milada Boleslav. It looks like we are going to have to repeat the miracle of Sofia in the second leg if we want to have any chance of going through. We are going to make our final change of the game and it is going to be an attacking change. We'll bring Thomas Alua on for Thomas Breen up front as Boleslav come forward with the ball. It's Havorka on the right-hand side into the box. It deflects off Albergis and it's gone in somehow. Dennis Vesely, it's even worse than the Sofia game. We are now four goals to one down. I don't see us scoring four goals. I don't see us winning by four goals to nil in the second leg. We need to we need to switch to attacking, I think. But they have another chance here. Free kick. Yeah, it's over. It's over. The dream is over. I'm calling it now. Frantisek, Borrell with Mlada Boleslav's fifth goal of the game. And things have just deteriorated drastically in this second half. So there's the full-time whistle. I'm pretty sure this tie is now over. It's 5-1 victory for Mlada Boleslav today. We need to win by five goals to nil in the second leg to to qualify for the next round. I'm going to go... I'm going to thrash my arms because we should be losing, but we shouldn't be losing that heavily. I'm going to say I'm far from pleased with the result. So we have made another signing, probably our final signing of the season, I would imagine. Well, just because of our, our wage budget situation, we've pretty much used all of the wage budget, but it is another... It's another fullback. It's another left back. Jonathan Sparachiari. Three and a half rate, three and a half star rate. He's got pretty good tackle in a mark in 12 and 10. His strength's very good as well. And I just feel like he's probably an improvement even on Muretti, who we've just brought in. So we, we now have pretty good depth at left back. Obviously, this guy, three and a half stars. And then Muretti, I believe, was about three stars. I, I might put him in the team for the Shamrock game. I'm not sure. So the big day has arrived. It is semi-final day in the EA Sports Cup. We play against Shamrock Rovers. Can we beat them once again? I'm pretty sure it was this competition last year in the semi-final stages where we faced Shamrock Rovers. Now, we, we do have a, a few issues to deal with. So I have changed some of the squad from the last match already. So Ryan Walker is in at right back, or still there at right back because Rigodanzo is suspended for this game. John Mann and Graham Gebby come back into the center of defense. And my main question is whether I bring in our new left back. And I think I do. It's a bit of a risk because he obviously won't know the system very well. He's only had like one day with the club and I don't think we've even trained in that day. But we'll we'll see how he gets on. 
At defensive midfield, Dara Power comes in for Esposito, while Berkis is still in need of a rest. He's on the bench, just mainly because I promised him that I would rest him, but I'd still play him for a few minutes per game. So that is why he is there. Bertrand Connolly comes back into the squad at advanced playmaker. I'm pretty sure Gary Buckley. Was Gary Buckley in the team last time out? I think he was. And then Thomas Alua is in at right wing for Massimiliano Torremino as he is in need of a rest. And Luigi Milani takes Okiani's place as he's also in need of a rest at left wing. And then Gabriele Piazza, uh, one of our new signings, is in for Breen up front. Back one last minute change we're going to make. We're going to bring in Mohamed Kamara. I can say his name. Mohamed Kamara at the ball in midfield role in centre midfield in place of Buckley. So uh, quite a few of our new signings in the squad today. Let's see how they, they gel in in this cup semi-final. Interesting team news from Shamrock Rovers. They, Graham Bailey is one of their key players, or at least he has been in the past. He's scored many times against us. He is on the bench today. Neil Ferrugia as well, he's been one of their key players against us in the past too. So interesting that they've chosen to rest them. I'm gonna pump my fist and say, we've got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of. A lot of people looking unsure. This isn't great. We're going to do a general defenders team talk and say, I have faith in you. Get out there and make the difference. Ryan Walker's still looking unsure. We'll do the same for the midfield. And Henry's still looking unsure as well. And then we'll do an individual one for... Gabriele Piazza. Yeah, it's not, it's not worked. So, corner kick. Kongri takes it. Milani's there with the header off the post. Is it going to go in? It does. Piazza. It's a fortunate goal for Gabriele Piazza. But he'll take it. It's his first ever goal for us. He does a little cartwheel to celebrate. It was hit off the post from a Milani header. And then it's somehow deflected off Piazza. I think that O'Connor hit it off of Milani. And then Piazza actually reacted very quickly to tap it in. So I, I give him a bit of credit for that one. But we are one goal up in the semi-final against Shamrock Rovers. Can we get back to the EA Sports Cup final and regain or retain our trophy? We get to half time and we are still one goal up. Shamrock have had a, a few more shots than us, but we've got the better XG at the moment. We are going to just try to encourage the team. I think I'm going to say I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up and we'll have a look to see if anyone needs to come off. Only player that's a slight concern is Ryan Walker at right back, but he's on a 6.5, which is a pretty average rating. So we'll we'll leave him out there for now and see how we get on in this second half. Corner kick for Shamrock. Scully with the ball in. O'Connor's there. And O'Connor scores. It's an equaliser for Shamrock. The man who tried to clear the ball, hit it off Milani, and it went in from Piazza in the first half, has managed to get a goal back for Shamrock and they look like they are completely on top now Kennedy with the ball into the box Kavanaugh's there Moore tries to save it and he just can't get his hands on it properly and Sean Kavanaugh's turned this game around and we are going to have to make some form of change so we are going to take Sparatiari off we'll bring on Alessandro Moretti so one newbie for another and then a Lua do we take a Lua off I mean Piazza's playing quite well Milani's not doing too great a Lua's not doing great, but we don't have a right winger to bring on for him. We are going to switch Alua to left wing. And then uh, uh, that's not a good idea because we don't have a... We're going to take Milani off. We'll leave Alua on. We will bring on Jack Cantwell at left wing. And then I feel like we should make our, our final change as well. We'll take Mohamed Kamara off and we will bring on... No, we'll take... We'll move power to the centre midfield position. Take Kamara off. Bring on Albertus for the last 20 minutes or so see if we can nick an equaliser we're gonna go positive as well and we're gonna demand more from the team with 10 minutes to go it's not looking likely as shamrock have a free kick lynch into the box rose at the back post and aaron rowe has got a third goal for shamrock rovers and surely that is the goal that is going to consign us to defeat today we are not going to successfully defend our ea sports cup title this season it's not been a good episode so far and it could be about to get worse. Kavanaugh with the ball in. Scully with the header. And it's over the top of the bar. And that is it. Full time. We are out of the EA Sports Cup at the semi-final stage. We've done well to get this far, to be honest with you. But still disappointing not to retain our title. Hands on hips. I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance out there. Conry and Delua are both looking disenchanted. As well as Dara Fox. But uh, the majority of the team seem motivated, I guess. And elsewhere, just to keep you updated on what's going on in the league. So Galway United and Bohemian, but most of the teams in fact, have been playing whilst we've been playing all these cup games. 
And we are now four points behind eighth place Galway United. But more, most importantly, we have two games in hand. So if we win both of those games in hand, we will climb out of the relegation playout places. UCD with a victory today over Galway United, a 3-1 win. Uh, they're now 10 points behind us, but we have a game in hand over them as well. So it's just key for us to, to start winning the league games. So here we go. It's time for the second leg against Mlada Boleslav. Five pools to one down. It's not very likely that we are going to win this one. I'll just make changes. But go, you can see I'm going to use a different formation. We're going to go for a, a more attacking formation. In, in I think it's a more attack, attacking formation anyway, in my opinion. Okay, so we finally sorted the team out. So we are, as I said, playing our 5-2-1-2 formation with wing backs. We have Ryan Moore in goal, as always. Adam Wells, Manata Canyon, and Rigadanzo are our three centre backs today. Graham Gebby in need of a rest. Holberkus in need of a rest. John Marn in need of a rest. We <laughs> have very limited options. Everyone's pretty knackered from the run of games that we've had in the past few weeks. Uh, a, a lot of games in a short period of time for a semi-professional team have knackered them, absolutely tired them out. Uh, right wing back, we've got Ryan Walker. Daniel O'Reilly is playing at left wing back today. Mohamed Kamara is a ball winning midfielder in centre midfield. Dara Fox is the advanced playmaker on support. Massimiliano Torremino is playing as an attacking centre midfielder today, as an attacking midfielder on attack. Giorgio Kearney and Thomas Breen are our two strikers. Pressing forward for Giorgio Kearney and advanced forward for Thomas Breen. On the bench, we do have... Plenty of options. No one that's in need of a rest. Alberkis is having a full rest today. He's not going to be played at all. Hopefully we can just get show a good account of ourselves and may, maybe get a few goals. I've gone on a positive mentality as well. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to do hands in pockets, which isn't one that I, I tend to do very often. I'm going to say nobody expects us to get a result, so just get out there and enjoy playing without any pressure on you. A uh, few players looking disenchanted. I'll try and, try and sort them out. So I've said, I have faith in you, get out there and make a difference. It seems to have worked for the majority of them. It's just a camera that is still looking disenchanted in the first 11. Now this is either a very good sign or a very bad sign. A very early highlight. Mlada Boleslav on the ball from kickoff. If they score here, then there's definitely no chance. I mean, there's pretty much no chance of us going through anyway. But there is David Petch. 1-0 to Mlada Boleslav after less than a minute. And it looks like the European dream is officially over. It could get extremely embarrassing now. Vasily skips past the defender and takes a shot. And that's somehow saved by Moore. That looked like it hit off the post and then just sort of magnetically connected to Moore. Spevak, the ball to the box. Petch is there again. And it's a good save once again from Ryan Moore. They are all over us. Spevak through to Klima. Klima to make it 2 on the night. And it is 2-0. Uh, should I just have played my normal formation? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I still can. Should we change that? We'll change that. Do it now. Okay, so we've changed the formation back to our, our usual one, but it does mean that Manata Canyon is going to have to play out of position in defensive midfield as an anchor man, but we, we don't want this to get even more embarrassing than it already is. We're losing 7-1 on aggregate. It could, it, it could go into double figures, and it might still go into double figures. Free kick into the box. That's a good save from Ryan Moore again. I think it was offside though. Prochaska with the ball, looking for the through ball to Petch. Finds Petch. Yeah, he's been drawn out wide. It's a good save from Ryan Moore, and we should get rid of this now. But instead, we give the ball back to them, and Klima is through on goal. And it's 3 0 to Milada Boleslav. And that is just horrific. Sorry. Sorry, what? Oh my god. It's half time. It's 4 0. Um. I think I'm just going to take you through to full time because it's probably going to be about 8-0 by the end. Thank God the referee has put us out of our misery. 6-0 <laughs> rubbing. 11-1 on aggregate today. I cannot say that. I'm sorry. My assistant's telling me to say that I'm pleased with the performance. I, I can't. Thrash my arms. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw from this team over the two legs. Safe to say the fans aren't happy about that. Darren Keishan absolutely fuming with that. Graham McGuinness, well, that was grim. Mike Buckley, stunned by that. Isabella Carroll, everyone had a shocker. I completely agree with all of them. But on the plus side, we get 82 grand for, for playing in that round of the competition. And also, um, I didn't have enough. You can only make one change to your team each registration window in the Europa Conference League. And I, 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 had, I had to choose between Camera or Piazza to bring in. And I chose Camera. So Piazza came to me and he was a bit concerned about being left out. So I promised him that I'd put him in for the next round. But... Don't have to worry about that now. 
So looking ahead to the next episode, I feel like we've we've had a lot of episodes where we've just been playing games that are really close together, obviously because of our European run. But we're going to advance a bit further forward, a lot further forward, to the beginning of October, I want to say, unless we get quite far in the, the cup competition, in which case I'll bring you, I'll probably bring you from the semi-final stage if we get there. We, we can, of course, just get beat by UCD and then it'll all be over. But in the meantime, off camera, I will be playing all of these games here. So we'll be playing Waterford, St. Pat's, Shelburne, Derry City, two very important games against UCD and Galway United in the, the race for survival and the Shamrock Rovers game as well. So we'll probably be back around the Bohemian game, Bohemian and UCD again, another two games that will be very important come the end of the season. But that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly didn't. It's three batterings in a row sort of expected though so we'll 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 leave it we'll leave all this disappointment in this episode and we'll come back more positive next episode if you did enjoy the, this episode please hit the like button subscribe to the channel to get all my content when it comes out hit the notification bell to stay notified and i'll see you next time